Okay, Boom Buddies, let's do some Hollyhocks today. I have these Hollyhocks, which are pink. And these, which are red. And then I have some doubles in this variety. So we're going to plant some seeds too. I'm going to set the red aside. It's two roots in both bags. I'm using just regular soil. Regular old soil. Regular old top soil. Nothing to it. And some of my compost. This is unsilted. Um, so it does have bits in it, but they're not picky about soil, so it'll work. I already opened up the bag because it had, um, some staples going on. Let's put this up a little bit. Now, I'm going to put these in a spot where if they decide to pry cast, which it says it will bloom after its first year but if it decides to broadcast it won't lay seeds all over the garden okay so let's look at the roots these are roots spare roots it should be two in here here's the first one mosquito all right let's look at the second one Ooh, this is a big one here's the second one I'm gonna take this soil that was in the bag I'm gonna use a little bit of that because it has color light in it it'll give us a little bit of moisture oil moisture hold and we're going to want to let's see a little bit of action there see that we're going to want to kind of plant to this point so I'm going to set that over to the side I'm going to break a little bit of compost. That's an avocado seed. I want to say that. It's starting to break down. It's a rock. I do have crab shells in there. Crab shells that are breaking down. This stuff will continue to break down in your pot. And then eventually when it gets big enough, it's going to be moved. These two will be moved into a bigger pot. We got some leaves. We got a whole bunch of stuff. I'll take some seeds out that I see that are in here. Let me show you what seed that was. It's from a tree. We don't want these. Okay. So I kind of want the roots to kind of sit like this. This is kind of like the perfect starter pot for them. another seed I'm 
going to take this and pour this a little bit. Let's see, let me pull it on camera more. There we go. a little bit of um what do you call this fabric fabric landscape fabric this stuff never dissolves never okay so i just want to cover this a little bit more i'll press that down in there i have some backup soil right here that's pretty much it when i plant bare roots i don't want them to be not suffocated but i don't want them to be too stuck in the dirt i want them to be loose so that they can thrive all right so got some labels This is our pink. Uh, I'm going to save the red label for the red. So I'm going to go with white for our pink. Let's see. Today is... Ooh three one just so we'll know when they're planted we're just gonna sit just like that and then we're gonna water them okay so let's go to our the same thing we're going to okay let's just dry this we're going to oh is that a rock rock we'll get rid of that okay i'm going to add a little bit of compost but this time i want to plant four no three hollyhocks so we're going to take the coffee out of these, since they don't have a preference for soil. So that we can have these ready to go come time. All right, so this is our first cup. We took the filter out of it. If you have coffee grounds from K cups, you want to save them. You can plant with them. You want to take the filter out, and the filter can go in your compost. Just take the filter out. Just like that. We have one more. And get rid of all of the foil. And these are perfect seed starting cups because they already have a see that for drainage. Already have a hole in them for drainage. All right, so we have our three cups. Okay, so for the red ones, I 
That's what comes in your bag. Let's see. Oh, the red ones are smaller. Both of them. Interesting. We actually could use a smaller pot. Let's see what we have here. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So, the other pot that I used... Let me see if I can raise this up a little bit. The size difference. So, I'm not going to use this one, which is the same one we planted the pink ones in. We're going to use the smaller one. It's going to help with the roots. Um, giving them a sense of location. Okay. But, these are really, really babies. Ooh, 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 ooh. We can see a little bit of growth right there. See that? A little bit of waking up. Because these are dormant for the winter. So we aren't going to need that much um, soil. Let's do, what is these? These are probably apricot seeds, peach pits. We're going to save those two with the avocado right there. Yeah, that's good. Some eggshells. Yeah, that's good. some dirt in it nothing special so we're gonna place our roots just let them sit where they lay okay that might work I'm gonna kind of sit him in the center all right let's fill it up To expose that I want it to get some sunlight so I know it's time to wake up and produce and that's how it's gonna sit just like that looks like that was starting to give some action in the bag and didn't get enough light or water and now it's starting to show signs of that all right that's good we're gonna label what I do with my sharpie there it is so we have red Put it right there. We're gonna water both of these with rain water. Now for our pods, I'm gonna go ahead and label them. But for our pods, we want to use more compost.
Okay, this is the CD packet. We turn it on the back. My depth is one eighth of an inch, which is not, we don't even want to do anything to it. Like we don't want to bury them at all. Let me open this up. I've already opened them, but I sealed it with a piece of tape. It says it takes 10 to 15 days to germinate and they will go to the height of five to six feet. Oh, I found a worm. It's a baby. And we got it. Let's put it in there with the with the red hollyhock. You see him? It's right there wiggling. It probably came out of the compost for sure. Alright, so we have our K-Cups, K-Cup Pops. So, so I'm gonna show you what the seeds look like. They're different looking seeds. Oh, did I drop one? Oh, I dropped two. Don't wanna do that. I'm going to move all of this over to the side so I can tell if I dropped one. I'm going to lay two on top. Now, to help with thinning, you're going to lay them across from each other, not both in the middle. Okay? So if you see that, there's one. And there's two. That's how we want to lay them. Just like that. You don't have to cover them. But if you want to feel fancy. You, you, they need light. So you really don't even want to mess with them too much. So this one is done. Alright. This one. There's two. Just like that. They won't be competing much. We just cover them. Barely. The next one, I'm not going to cover. I find that the ones that say one eighth. For burial or for bearing it grow better when you just lay them on the top so there's one and there's two just like that just like that so I'm gonna put this last seed this last seed since I poured too many right there just like that see it that last seed. So now we have six in here if they um, all germinate and we have two in this pot plus a seed that would be three and then we have two in this pot right here. So let's see how long it says for the hollyhocks to germinate. 
I did not find on the label where it says how long it takes them to wake up. But we're going to move our hollyhocks to, and I'm going to show you, to a tray that I got from Walmart like two, no, maybe three years ago. I bought a whole tray of veggies and I was able to take it. And it's perfect for the K-cups. I have some blanket flour right there. But it is absolutely perfect. That Naya's, one's going to name him. Go ahead. That one's name is Blairy. Blairy. This one's name is Harry. Harry. This one's name is Honga Pop. Honga Pop. This one's name is Hanga Hanga. Hanga Hanga. And this one's name is Hinga Hanga Hinga. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. We're going to water them. Thank you, Nye. You're welcome. Beautiful, beautiful names. Hunga Hunga is my favorite. Hunga Hunga. Hunga 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 Hunga. It's so beautiful. You're absolutely right. What color are those flowers going to be? We have one that's pink. Hollyhock. These right here are red hollyhocks. And these are going to be a variety, so it's going to be a surprise when the seeds develop. I'm excited to see what colors they turn out to be. Imagine if all of them were the same color. Imagine that selection. I think that would be pretty cool. That would be cool if there was a flower to bind with every single flower. Ooh. You're so right. It would be so cool. But if it was combined with a rose, then mm, it would make it tiny bit prickly. Just a little prickly. You're right. Mm -hmm. So we got all of our hollyhocks in. We got our seeds sown. And now we wait. We wait. Yay! We plant it. We plant it. What if there was a flower that produces rocks and pebbles? Wow, that would be unique. That would definitely one be unique. One flower would make rocks and the other will make pebbles. Just with the pollen. But then bees and honey will have pebbles in their honey. <laughs> and then they'll be like, oh, this is nice honey. What is it made of? Pebbles? Blah, 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 blah. Pebbles? Their names. I think they're going to love their names. They're going to grow and fit their names. Bloom buddies, you got to come back and see what happens. Mm -hmm. I hope I don't forget. <laughs> 